Welcome to the 12th Annual Immigrant Minority Farmers Conference. The theme this year is sharing tools and stories for our success. One of the best tools that we, that we use and we use every year is our garden tractor. And he does the driving and the cultivating and we do the cleaning. All he's got to do is just keep straight. We're here talking with farmers about how to build a portable hand washing station for the farm. We also had a great farmer's market stand demonstration that showed easy and convenient marketing practices to increase sales. And so, you know, pricing, really simple things, uh, and, and telling people what they are, what the things are. Uh, you know, a, a thing with the story of your farm, you know, with basic information about why you farm, how you farm, where you're from, you know, your story. Uh, these are all things that people like to know, uh, especially the farmer's market, because they want to know the farmer. Hi, I'm Al Franken. I'm sorry I couldn't be there with you today, but I want to thank you for all that you do for our state's agriculture sector. Hello to all my friends taking part in the 12th Annual Immigrant and Minority Farmers Conference. In Minnesota, we are fortunate to have thriving small farms and vibrant local food scenes across our state, and that's something we should continue to build on. While you work to boost our economy in Minnesota, I'm working in Washington to make sure your voice is heard. Enjoy the rest of the conference. You deserve it. This conference is put on by a planning committee of 18 people who work tirelessly for six months leading up to the conference. Um, these people, most of them are volunteers. They have other full-time jobs that they're doing in addition to planning this committee. Um, and we've got, we've got people from nonprofits, we've got farmers, government uh, agencies, and without them we would not be able to put on this amazing conference. I'm here at the conference because um, I actually came as an attendee four years ago from Kansas City. I was working at the time with um, the New Roots for Refugees program, and so I brought a group of farmers, um, mostly women farmers from Kansas City, up for the conference. We had such a good time, and I got kind of connected a little bit here. And I actually live in St. Paul now, so I chose to come and be involved again. I wanted to make sure everyone um, has their interpreter located. We had a great selection of workshops this year. Three were focused on organic production, many on business basics and advanced topics including budgeting, produce pricing, and farm lawn leases. We also had two workshops that were farmer panel specific. One, overcoming challenges, and another, working with government agencies. Farmers found these really helpful because they are led by farmers. When I explain people about if we're talking really romantic about how good it is to be a farmer, how nice it is to be an insane amount of hours working on the sun, I. I can. I think we lie, because the reality of uh, to do this work is, is a hard work. They're my uh, grandkids, and they love. First of all, they love farming. You gotta love it. Otherwise, you know, it's just a hobby. We try to make a living. We try to make. We try to make money. This conference brings a very diverse group of farmers together. They come from different backgrounds, cultures, locations but they share one thing in common, which is farming. And they come here to build community, and this conference strengthens that community. When I retired, I, says, I told my, my grandson, I said, you know what, maybe it's about time to go ahead and sell the farm. And he goes, no, Grandpa, I'm gonna buy a lottery ticket, and if I win it, I'll buy the farm. <laughs> Mama, 
Mamawe, Yelele Mamawe, Yelele.